Hello everyone, my name is LK95 right here, finally bringing you a Call of Duty video on my channel because we all know that the other CODs are absolutely wank, well the past three has anyway, they've been a pile of shit so it's not been really worthy content to upload. Today I bring you the most precious game to my heart and I always will love is Call of Duty 4. Why I love it you say, it's my first COD and I do enjoy this game. So let's talk about the review of this game. Is they can talk about the goods and the bads and overall should you buy it? Um, I know I'm a small YouTuber myself, but I would like to just give my thoughts out there. If you are watching this video, I hope really this will make up your mind. If you want to get it or wait for Christmas, you know, sorry, sorry. So let's get over it. So start with the well, I'll just probably just go into detail or anything. Like it'd be good and bad in a mixture of both. So let's talk about it. So let's start with the bads. The M16. What the fact that I do to that weapon I do not know the M16 is actually <laughs> atrocious it needs a nerf I think because I really do not remember that gun being that good in the actual COD 4 itself um they usually took about three or four bursts to kill someone now it's just a one burst if you have stopping power on or it's a two burst if you don't maybe a one burst depending on how low they are so the M16 definitely needs a buff buff I mean nerf um the campers of this game are atrocious. Like seriously, I I always encounter a camper in each match. It's actually a joke. Um, it really does need. I don't know how you can sort them. You really can't. It's an old cod, so you kind of got to deal with it in a way. But it's just it just oh, it boils my blood when I see it happen. When someone just sit there camping for a seven kill streak, seven, really a seven, a helicopter, a helicopter that's not even that worthy of of getting because it can easily be shot down before it even gets into the map it's happened to me many amount of times when i've called in the helicopter and my helicopter has been shot down just in the two seconds it came in down so i don't understand why people are camping for that i don't know it's just weird maybe they try to go for the 30 vicious metal yes there is actually a goal for this if you are a uh, pump stomper like i'm kind of a pump stomper but i'm called kind of casual as well um is to actually get 30 kills without dying. I'm not sure Shrieks can't towards it. I'm pretty sure it does. Um, so that's kind of a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. But you, like I said, you can easily be killed. Like, the time to kill in this game is quite... Not as quick, but it's, it's quicker than COD 4 was. So it's a bit annoying in a way. Um, the maps are great. I love they haven't changed anything. The maps are still the same. Like I said, the guns are still mostly the same. But it's just the M16 is just near. Uh, the sniper, the M4, is... You know the quick scoping machine in this game. If you can do really well with it, you're a monster of it. Like if you see Pamara sniping, it's just disgusting how good he is with it. It's just ridiculous. It's like it's amazing. Uh, the medals come up as well, which is nice. It gives you that um, kind of like the uh, like model no model warfare three medals. I think it was. I can't remember what medals were. Black Ops two. So that. Yeah, anyway, they got old game modes, which I really did enjoy, which is like Headquarters, Sabotage. they also got Cage Match, which is a 1v1. You know, all those old game modes they brought back, which is amazing. I need to jump on Headquarters. I haven't played Headquarters at all yet, and I need to jump on it because it's one of my favorite game modes. And I'm sad that it has gone out of the COD community. I wish they'd bring it back at some point. Um, but yeah, uh, what else is there? There's... Nothing else to really much say, really, to guys. That's about it, really. Like, COD is a bit, This COD is actually a really good game. Like, it has its flaws, like every COD does. Like, there's campers, the M16s are atrocious. The kill streaks are 3, 5, or 7. So, there's no too much to advance. There's no MOABs or nukes. But if you get a 30 kill streak, you get the Vicious Medal, which had it on Black Ops 2, which people were going for. So, most likely, people will be going again for this, unless they're playing for Warfare, trying to get, you know, nukes. Because, you know, that game's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Not. <laughs> um, so overall guys is it worth the 70 pounds which is in the UK by the way 70 pounds or maybe less now in the UK and the answer is it's no it like if this game is good without a doubt it's one of my favorite cards it still is one of my favorite cards and this game is still got me like it makes me happy when I'm playing it um, but also pisses me off for campers but like it's not worth that much despite it being really good because it was remastered after all and it was on PS3. You could pick up PS3 for like £10. But then there's hackers and stuff. But you know what I mean. Um, I would say wait for it to go down in price. Because if, because if you're like saving for a present. Like for a friend for Christmas. And you've got a choice between that or play COD 4. I should just get your friend a present. Because no game is worth 70 quid. Without a doubt. No game is worth that much. Unless it's like a special edition. Like of COD 4. You have like some figures or some collectibles. You know that would be worth it. But unfortunately not you have to get shitty infinite warfare which is just a crap game in general guys do not get it anyway guys it's been the boy i can have five right here really hope you enjoy this cod 4 gameplay there will be more coming to my channel 
Hope to talk to you soon. Till then, stay on the five. Take care, peace, people. Goodbye.